Okay, well, we're going to talk about a couple components off furnaces. Uh, basically, this is a gas valve. Okay, it simply has a dial here where you can put it on um, so you can actually set the, uh, the pilot on it. Okay, in this position right here, you can push down on it, it'll let gas go. By on a, on a little uh, tube which screws right into here it'll be like a little aluminum quarter inch tube uh, gas valve so that you can um, replace like a standing pilot okay so it's for a standing pilot and it's a universal it's pretty generic it comes with uh, sleeves here to go from three quarters to half inch so you just screw them in here and, and it will change the diameter of the hole this one's half inch to three quarters, but if I want um, three quarters to half inch, I have the adapters right here. Now it's both half inch. So if that, but most of the time when you're replacing them, it's half inch gas pipe is feeding it, and three quarters is on the furnace itself going to the gas burners. Uh, on the top here, you have two prongs. What'll happen is, is that's where your uh, 24 volts will go. Usually it goes through a control, a high limit, so that if there's a rollout or if the, if the unit gets too high in temperature, like say the fan goes out, then it will break the high limit, which is usually just a bimetal in between uh, that uh, will break. Okay, on the top here, this is where your thermocouple would go. It would screw in here, go down, follow your tubing that comes out of over here down to the burner. And then uh, what that'll do is, is when the thermocouple is nice and warm and hot, it will send a signal back to this saying there is a flame so we can have main burner. So as long as the limit and the high limit and the uh, safety controls are all made, they're normally closed open when there's a fault, it will take the 24 volt out. Your main gas that goes through here will shut off. The main gas that goes through here is set at 3.5 inches of water column. Uh, let's say uh, you put your meter on it, which there's a tab right here that you take out with a um, Allen key. Once you take that out with the Allen key, you screw on your service onto your uh, onto your tester, or you can use the old clear tube with water in it that'll raise it up. If this, if if we were going to convert this over to propane, inside has a spring and all the components that you need right here. And what will happen is, is you'll take off this top uh, nut right here and you'll back it out and you'll be able to replace the spring and the, uh, the orifice there. And you got a little cap, you'll get a new cap which is red and you put that on there and anyone that looks at that now knows it's LP, it's been converted. But for now it's set up for just natural gas, okay. And that serves two functions, not only one to get the, and what it does is it cuts the amount of gas going in and out of the valve by twisting a screwdriver. You take this cap off and there's another piece underneath, tighten or loosen it will change the amount of gas. So when you got your meter over here plugged in, you should read 3.5 uh, 3 uh, inches of water column, but when it's propane, you will read 11 inches water column. Anyways, uh, so you get your 11 inches of water column there and you will adjust it, take this cap off and you'll adjust it with a screw and that'll give you, and when, you, when you're, uh, 3.5 is what you're looking for with natural gas, okay? Now, inches of water column, you can use it to set your, your uh, gas valve, but also on boilers, let's say you got a gas boiler, you will have a trimeter and a trimeter is located on the front of the boiler and basically the top is in red and that reads temperature it goes all the way from 70 to 250 Fahrenheit normally boilers run and you'll see this little glass thing that spins around but I think this one's all messed up but it runs around 180, 180 degrees that's what a boiler operates at 180 degrees now reason it's called a trimeter is because the trimeter has three functions it reads Fahrenheit, it reads how many pounds of water is coming in from the city.
because what you got to do is you got a re, you got a reducing valve to reduce down the amount of pressure going into the boiler. Now what's now most my boiler in my home runs at 12 pounds psi. Okay, why is it why is 12 pounds psi so important? Well, 12 p, pounds of psi will push the water pressure just like in your water column. If you had a little round tube and you were adjusting the water column inches in your gas valve, it what will happen is it raises the water up the tube. Okay so it gets to um, 3.5 or if it's LP up to 11 inches so same thing goes for this when you're pumping water into it at 12 pounds there's actually another meter below that that reads foot pounds not inches water column is in inches boilers in the water system is in foot so if you was letting in 12 pounds of pressure by this meter that means it can reach 30 feet in the air and that's why we use a reducing valve and that's why systems run at different pressures. If you were working on a three-story building, then you would have to reach, say, 40 or 50 feet. Then you would be looking at inlet pressure of about 20. See? And that's, that's why it's important to understand the foots, the water pressure, and the temperature on a trimeter on a boiler. It's all important. It all means something. So, anyways, now we understand the difference between inches and feet. Uh, so I hope that helps you when working on a boiler system uh, if you're working on a two-story then you're then you're wanting to have around 12 pounds of PSI you're working on a three-story well then you're gonna have roughly around uh, uh, 15 pounds and if you're 20 pounds so let's say let's say you have your two stories and you're wanting to reach 30 feet up and you have it set at 12 pound PSI and the water's going up, but up the top you have something catching it, a bladder or a, or a tank, and it's filling up with water. If I put, and if I had 12 pounds of pressure at the bottom, at the, at the boiler, and I went upstairs and put a pressure meter up at the top, I would still have 12 pounds PSI, okay? Because it takes that money, much pounds to reach 30 feet up. So that's why it's a trimeter. Temperature, foot, pressure. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you. Okay, I just want to add a couple things to this. On some of these replacement valves, there will be two prongs like these, but they'll be sticking out the side. This one doesn't have it, but some do have it. And what that is 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 that if you have like uh, controls such as the rollout sensor, rollout sensor is basically a little bimetal. The flame rolls out, it hits it, breaks the bimetal, and it breaks the 24 volts coming to, to the gas valve. It goes through some kind of limit. Well, they can be either wired uh, with two little prongs that are on the side. Prongs on the side, you need a little jumper wire to jump it over in order. If it's wired so that it makes and breaks up here through the controls, then, then you don't need the two little prongs on the side, so you just use a little jumper wire and you jump one to the other. Because if you don't, what will happen is you'll push in this, you'll light your, you'll light your pilot, and you'll wait, you'll count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, you'll get up to 60, you'll let it go, and the pilot goes out, and you're like, oh, what, what's going on? You know, my thermocouple's right here, and my thermocouple's screwed in right here, and it's brand new, and it's, and it's, uh, it's in the, it's in the flame, this little part's in the flame, and gas is hitting it, and it's glowing red, but still, when you let go of that, it pops off. Well, the reason is is because some of these gas valves come with two little prongs on the side, and there's a little jumper wire. Sometimes you got your what it's for is is so that you can run through your controls to have it cut out with rollout or 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 high limit. Uh, so, but if you come to one that is already all wired in, and all you have to do is just take a jumper wire and jump it over, and then this way, when you let go of that, your standing pilot will stay on. So remember, there are gas valves that are made out there with two little prongs with a little jumper wire. If you put this in and, and, and all your limits are going through, all your protective safeties are going through the thermostat wire, and, and by the way, they're wired in series. What's in series means? It means one side of the transformer goes straight to one prong. The other side of the transformer goes through your high limit, your, your uh, low pressure switch, your uh, your rollout and then it comes back and goes to your um, your gas valve. If it's wired like that, then you don't need the 
the, the little prongs on the side so you just take a jumper wire and you jump it over and your pilot will stay on as long as all your safeties are made and are not at fault so there you have it I just wanted to add that um, you know and make sure and what else I want to add is is that if you're working on something that's 800 BTUs then your your pressure is going to be 2.5 so so everything matters okay and you're reading it and what does it mean it means what your it's your water column per square inch okay uh, so if you put a manometer on here uh, and basically you would put it on right here you would take the little alley out this would come out you'd screw your little fitting under it have a hose and it goes to your manometer you would read 2.5 pounds if it was um, 800 BTUs or less if it was uh, natural gas you're going to read 3.5 and if it's propane LP you're going to read 11 per square uh, per square, 11 p inches per square inch. Okay, that's what that PSI means per square inch. Okay, so I just wanted to add that uh, so that because because I've seen guys put the new ther the the new valve on and put a new a new uh, thermocouple on there and then they go they push this down and they light it. Some are spark ignite. Some are some are you gotta light it with an old good old flash uh, lighter. And you count one one thousand till you get to sixty. You let it go, and then you put it on the on position. Whew, the burner lights up. But if if you if you do that and not, and you let it go and nothing happens, well, you might have two prongs here that you need a jump wire to jump over because that's where your safeties will go through. But if it's already wired the other way, then all you got to do is just put the jump wire on it. Otherwise, your pie is going to go out and you're going to sit there and that, and don't understand what's going on. I've seen that. <laughs> So when you, you go over to them and say, well, read the instructions, because right on the manual it tells you it's got a little jumper wire to jump that out if you don't need it. So, there you have it. Um, you know, just a good old gas valve. Now that pounds per square inch is like this. In 2.02 .02 ounces is equal to 3.5 gas pressure okay and 6.35 6.35 and that equals 11 inches in LP okay 11 pounds per square inch so and um, in ounces is actually 1.73 is what is what uh, one pound uh, an ounce is and a pound is 27.7 I think or 27.73 is one pound so it's all in square inches and that's how you measure it and then of course I told you how on the metal, on the uh, trimeter what the foots are so I hope this helps you and uh, believe me that's going to save you a headache just knowing that there's a little jumper wire that goes on the some of these valves so and it'll come right inside the pack, a little jumper wire, and it's got two push-ons, and you just do. And uh, if it's wired, so the controls go to the main ones up here when they're in series. So uh, it, just a little reminder, it might, just so you know. Uh, let's say you have an aquastat on a boiler and uh, on your truck, and it calls for 24 volt for the burner, and it, the aquastat you have on the truck has 120 for the burner. Well, if you wired that aquastat in and you ran 120 over to your to your gas valve, it's gonna it's gonna burn out your gas valve and it might even trip the breaker. So what do you do? You have a, a aquastat that you need one that calls for 24 volts going to your to your um, gas valve, but the aquastat you have on your truck is one, one 120 burner. So what do you do? I'll tell you, here's going to save you some time. You can take a 24 volt transformer. What happens is the aquastat's all wired in for thermostat and all that. When the thermostat's call, called, it'll pull in a, a relay which will send 120 to the burner circuit, which will convert from the 24 volt transformer, then send the signal. So, so because I, I was on one service call and the aquastat for the for the boiler, I was uh, I needed aquastat. I it called for 24 volts and all I had was one that had 20 120 volts. So simply I added a 24 volt transformer, it saved me time, yeah I used a $15 transformer, but the job was over with. So there's another uh, hint uh, when you're out in the field, something you need to engineer right away, 
Some places don't like you to engineer, they want you to use the exact parts, but uh, let's say you want to get these guys some heat and that's the only echo state you have on the truck and, and they got kids, you got to get heat now, right there. You put that on and it saves until the morning. And then you can go take care of it correctly or you can leave it like it is, it isn't going to hurt it. So uh, there you go, there's uh, some tips for you out in the field.